You have arrived at your destination. Arriving at our second stop, just a quick drive from Gaviota State Park, coming up Highway 101. Since we are in the summer season, make sure you have reservation for this campground because they are fully booked most of the time. So here we are at Pismo Beach. North Beach Campground. I am in site number 35, which is a pull through. Uh, it's on non hookup sites here. Pismo State Park actually has two campgrounds. One is the North Beach Campground where I am camping, and the other one is the Oceano Campground. That one is more for people uh, hanging out by the uh, dunes where you can drive your car on the beach. But on that campground, it's really packed in like sardines with uh, campers right next to each other. This North Beach campground is much nicer. Lots of space uh, in between the sites and most of them are pulled through. Here we are, number 35. I'll probably have a separate video just to uh, give you a drive through view of the campground. It's a great campsite with lots of room and privacy as well since you are quite far away from your neighbors. Climbing over a small bluff adjacent to the campground is a beautiful Pismo Beach that we came here to see. Just um, miles and miles of beach facing the ocean and up in the perched high on the treetop there's an osprey. Amazing just sitting there watching the scenery. We are at uh, Pismo State Beach. It's kind of windy, so uh, you'll probably hear a bunch of wind noise as soon as I turn around. Beautiful day on the beach. Oceano Dunes is uh, just next to Pismo Beach. Actually, they are connected. Uh, this is where you can actually drive your vehicle onto the beach. I think that's the only beach in California that uh, you can do that. Um, there's like miles and miles of sand dunes you can drive on, but you know, of course, you probably want to have a uh, 4x4 four four before you do that, otherwise you will probably get stuck. Beautiful Avila Beach. You can probably spend at least a day or maybe two. I think I'll have a separate video just on Avila Beach. Marco Dot Park, nicely manicured park, perched atop a bluff overlooking the ocean. It's really soothing and comfortable just to uh, hang out and sit there and to enjoy the view. Also Flaco Lake is a little bit out of the ways of the beaten path, but once you get there, it's a wildlife refuge, so you might be able to see quite a little bit of uh, waterfalls and cranes and such. I probably have a separate video just to um, talk about Oso Flaco Lake.
Back at Pismo North Beach Campground, within walking distance, is the Monarch Butterfly Grove. Right now is not the season, but between October and February, it's when the monarch butterflies will uh, migrate here to uh, give birth to their next offspring. So I would imagine that would be quite a sight to see all the trees uh, with very colorful butterflies fluttering about. Still at the Pismo Beach uh, North campground. There's a nice little boardwalk uh, just adjacent to the campsites. Continuing my walk at Pismo North Beach Campground on a trail just uh, on the perimeter of the campsite. Another beautiful day up here. Actually, even though the sun is out, it's nice and cool with a cool breeze. I think it's in the uh, probably high 60s. Walking out to the beach one more time. 